Hey, how are you guys doing today? Hey, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be going over some of my uh, one of my uh, uh, gear videos. Uh, I'm going to let you know what I actually use, what I took, what I got rid of, and uh, what actually worked pretty well. Uh, and without uh, further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. And I'll pop it up and we'll go through this together and, and see how it goes. Welcome back to my channel. Yeah, I've been here before. My name is Max, and I'm doing Appalachian Trail this March. I've already gone over my big three, and now I'm going to go over all my other gear. All right, so I'm going to do my gloves first. I got these OR gloves. Uh, they seem pretty good. I think I got them on sale, so I haven't tested them out. Like I said, it's a little... Okay, so for me, I got the OR gloves. They, they were pretty good. I used my gloves, my long finger gloves, uh, probably one time the entire time I was there. So I don't know. I think it depends on how cold your hands get. For me, my hand, the only thing I got cold was my fingertips, but I couldn't manipulate anything with the longer gloves. But plus, I'm, I'm pretty used to the cold. I, I lived up in Alaska, so I didn't use my OR gloves uh, that much. Now, it also depends on the time of year that you're going. I went right at the beginning of April, and this past year, I, I really didn't need to use them that much. It wasn't that hot. And this is just a pipe, guys. Tobacco. A little warm here, so I give them a shot. I'm a, I like OR. Always have. I've used it for years. Got both the Helix. Uh... Top and bottoms. I've had these for years. Okay, so the OR tops and bottom. I've seen a lot of uh, uh, people who hiked a lot have the OR, the Helix, the exact same one I had. I, I did have, I had those since about 2015, 2016, I think, and uh, loved it. I used that rain gear the most. A lot of people talk about the newer stuff at tears and whatnot. I don't have an experience with that, but these, I still have them. Uh, the, trip I'm about to go in and Joshua tree, I'm going to use this gear. I ha have no issues that, but I use that a ton to stay warm. Um, I haven't had any issues with them. So I'm going to rock them. I, I, I like them. They pack down pretty good. Um, I haven't had any tearing issues. You do sweat. Uh, so that's my rain gear. And then I, I got one of these, these wind jackets. Normally I use my. So the wind jacket. I did take it because it didn't weigh anything, but I used it zero times, zero times. I think at one point, I don't know where I was at. I ended up just sending it back because I didn't want it to tear up. It's real thin. But the reason I didn't use it a lot is because I thought that um, I didn't know how it did with, with like rain. So I didn't want to test it out, out while I was there. And by the time you get your all rain gear on, you, you just don't feel like switching anything out. So I did send that back. Rain gear as a uh, a wind jacket mm -hmm. but and that's what i did in the summertime it kind of sucks because you sweat a lot so I, I got one of these little lighter jackets and i wore it the other day here it's pretty windy here and it blocked the wind just fine and it was it's, it's, it's a cold wind so we'll give that a shot i'm gonna bring this bring this with me and uh i like it i might get the pants too but that's from uh i don't know if i said it it's from uh z pack z pack, z -Pack makes mm -hmm. it I don't know the name of it, but it's pretty cool. They say that it helps with mosquitoes and stuff, so we'll give it a shot. I never made it long right, enough so to see it helps with is, mosquitoes. Uh, I'm going to have to get up and get this stuff. So here's my, uh, I got the hardware, mountain hardware, good company. I have I have quite a bit of their stuff. Uh, the so that's their poopy jacket. I used my puffy jacket only when I was in town and probably in the morning. I, uh, it's something I would invest in. So, so do get it. It doesn't have to be mountain hardware. It could be any lower brands. I, I haven't tested any lower brands because I kind of just got right to this point and I loved it. So if you want to get it, get it. I, I did use it. I didn't use it as much as uh, uh, a lot of other people. I've seen a lot of people hiking with it. For be me, I just got too hot, so I only wore it when I was static. So when I probably the end of the day hiking, I'd put it on. So as soon as I stopped, I put that on so I didn't get cold. 
And then I'd probably, I would lay in my tent with it. And before I went to sleep, I'd take it off. And I think I wore it one night to add a little bit more warmth, but that was really about it. But versatile. very versatile. So when I went to go do this, I like one. I don't know where it went. So I had to get a new one to cut it. I'm gonna skip that there. So let's see what else we got. I'll go cook Seth next. All right. So obviously I just got a titanium spoon, it's normal. I don't need the shiny uh, bottom to make it smoother. I'm just shoving food in my mouth. So I just I have the regular thing. Still agree with that. Fancy. Don't need the shiny one. Now here, this is a new purchase too. So this jet boil, I have nothing but great, great things to say about this jet boil. Uh, hold on, I gotta grab something here. No, that probably messed the whole screen up. Uh, that jet boil stash, love it. I is probably out of all the investments I made, was the best investment I made the entire time of anything I made um, on the trail. It's lightweight. It packs into itself. Me, I used the large uh, canisters the whole time, the stovetop canisters. But this thing, hands down, you 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 just you can't beat it. Like you just, it's it's phenomenal. So that's what we've got. I've had the good ones. I've had I have the MSRs and mm -hmm. I have a lot of ones, but they just suck fuel sometimes. And I don't know why. And a lot of people I talked to, uh, they um, were talking how often they have to stop. A lot of guys, and they were using the small ones. I used the bigger one, and then this one. And I cooked quite a bit. I heat, you know, coffee every morning, hot breakfast every morning, and a hot meal every evening. And a large canister. I don't know how many. It was sixteen, whatever. It's it's the like, the big one. It lasts me almost like a month. It, almost a month it would last me. And I would heat my, my uh, stove up in the morning, too. So, if we're talking about cook system, I hate here, a little warm pack. I ended up putting this in a hiker's box. I didn't use this shit at all. I made it, didn't use it. Um, it was bulky. It added more weight. And you're boiling that water up, so it's hot. So... That bag is, you know, be careful. It's to keep keep it warm while it's cooking. But the stuff I was cooking in, like the noodles and potato, mashed potatoes and stuff, that cooked up pretty quickly. And you just kind of got to be careful with the plastic bag. I did use the Ziploc bags, but that was that was it. So, thing, I put this at the so you bag. like it, use it. I didn't like it because I didn't use it. I'm only using this when I'm going to be eating dinner. If you want. So if, you, if you're somewhere you got a hook or. So filtration system, doing the Sawyer squeeze. Best ever, love it. Um, I didn't have any issues with mine. Mine was a little, we did get a little bit slower flow at some point. I don't remember when that happened. But uh, I never, I only back my backwashed my stuff out with filtered water. And I never blew the back out. I kind of just let it stay moist the whole time. Bet, bet, best uh, right there. So the Sawyer, the bigger one. And then let me see what we got in here. Uh, I'm trying these. These are new. These are the Canuck. Uh, well, however you say this. Bottles. All right. So all I used that for was um, the Dubai. The, I think that it's going to come up, but I didn't use those at all. I was good to go with the 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 uh smart water bottles smart water bottles there we go i think that's good that's uh now the bag coming up right here love it the only complaint i have is it didn't it does it i got one hole but even though i was cleaning it and whatnot it still turned yellow and gets like a little funky smell to it um i didn't notice the funky smell until i got off trail uh, and then when I got back and then I noticed it and I was like, damn, that shit, that shit stinks, you know? So love it. Plus I got the three liter. So with the three liter, what that let me do is when I was close to a water source, I could fill up both my water bottles, keep a liter or two in this bag, carry it to my campsite. So I had two 
liters. I had, altogether, I could have four liters of water that I didn't have to carry for because I always tried to. We were always trying to get closer to a water source. Sometimes you had to walk a little bit further. So I'd fill both those up. I'd fill those up. And if I needed three liters, I'd fill it up for three liters if I want to have a bigger meal. Start doing that towards the end. And I could carry five liters that little bit of distance. And then I'd have this in the morning. I could clean up, brush my teeth, wash my face, hands, armpits, all that dick, everything, anything you want to clean up with this bag with the filter on it and then it would just roll up and boom i was ready to go had to water use water until my next water point it was awesome i highly recommend this it's like when you're just trying to drip in there it takes a minute i'm going to do three because the, oh, not like so it's, it's going to get to these tights the um these are uh, what the heck are these called smart wool the smart wool love them didn't wear them often, but loved them. This is just kind of like the puffy jacket. I had it just in case I needed it. I usually used it in the morning and then um, in the evening. So in the evening, like when you, you know when I'd stop, I'd slip those on. A lot of times I'd just put my legs in my uh, sleeping bag and then you know I'd lean out my sleeping bag in my tent, cook my food or whatever. Um, but uh, awesome, invest in them. I'm going to actually take them on this next trip I'm going on. And, and, and I just, I, I can't say enough good things about them. They, they're worth the money. Let's just say that. Got an extra top. Same thing, hardware. I got these on sale too, Christmas sale. They're, they're good. All right, I ended up switching these out. I didn't take any of these, but I regret it not taking these. I ended up switching it out and I got a Farpoint um, shirt. And then I took, what else did I take? I had a Farpoint and... Uh, Appala uh, Appalachian Trail, uh, Appalachian Trail wool. The uh, I did a Moreno wool and then the Apaca wool. I love the Apaca wool. Don't not a big fan of the Far Point. I wish I had taken one of these just for in town because they're real light. I, I wish I had taken it. I didn't take these. Yeah. I switched them out at mm -hmm. the end. Case. Socks, darn tough. I don't need to say more about them. To me they're the the best ones i'm not even gonna go over it because i i have always liked darn tough i didn't Something take just to sleep in long yeah, underwear i um, okay. uh, they were together they were like a, two pounds of weight that i just shed and i didn't need them now maybe if you're going earlier in the season you might have to but um me being april and you're walking and i just didn't need them I, I really didn't need them so i didn't take them Let's see where we're at next let's see what we got alpha wool okay so right here this is another far point alpha wool i wore this a ton so i was wearing this uh with my um Sun shirt from Far Point. I put this over it, and I put my um, uh, rain jacket over the top of that, and that was better than my puffy jacket. So I never wore this individually, but I'd have uh, my puffy jacket going, and uh, it would. It, it, this was better than the puffy jacket, and I had wore this all this time, even before the train is six months, almost a year, and I haven't washed that thing at all, and it does not hold stink. It doesn't hold stink at all. It's pretty awesome. Really, I really like that. I'm, I'm trying to get some more other ones, but man, I tell you what, they're. Yeah, and you can't get those. All right, let me quit doing the turnaround thing, and then uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna go to. I was just talking about the the day. Um. So that's gonna be. My bottle I'm using, squirts great. Loved it. Lots of power. Got the little, I don't know what this thing's called. But so the whole system there, I loved it. Uh, so that bidet, that knocks off all the big stuff and really gets you in there. And what I started doing is, um, I would, a lot of people are against the dude wipes, but I'd get the dude wipes. So once you squirt with this, there's nothing left on your butthole. So I'd get the dude wipe, clean it up more, 
and there was never really any anything left like to stain it up i'd fold it up and then i put that in a ziploc bag and so every time i dump trash i would just dump them dude wipes in the trash um and super clean and, and it worked great it, i didn't have any issues with it i highly recommend it i didn't have to worry about toilet paper nothing like i said i added the dude wipes later because i my butt started getting kind of dried out but that's it let's see what we got here but that's it for that and i'll probably bring a little what was everything in case you know sometimes you gotta you don't lock it all up loved it oops and then yeah, let's see how huh? gopro um, I'm going to be using all my electronics. Um, so my GoPro, I had issues with. I don't know why I had issues with the GoPro. I'm still even having issues with it here. I, I it don't. It's like a power issue of some sort. So I ended up recording on my phone, and I didn't get to do a lot of. Um, I didn't record how I wanted to record. I really wanted to talk more and whatnot. So I did a lot more on my phone. I hadn't practiced with it. So I just kind of just went with it and I had to make the decision. Do I want to record or do I want to do this? And I chose to just do the hike. Um, and I wouldn't have changed that. But uh, the, the GoPro, my biggest thing, and we'll get back in here. Let me get back this video back up here. Let's see where we had it. this one we'll do this one here um let's get this back up so my electronics i did really good the bear cancer so i'm using the bear cancer so i say electronics is the night core batteries i had two of those plus an anchor and i had zero battery issues i had uh they were lightweight all together with all three of them batteries and ends up being 140, I had like 30,000 mega, whatever the heck it is, stored up, and I had zero issues. So it wasn't too bad. Here's another item that I didn't take. I got some weight in it. It's not that heavy. Well, it's kind of heavy. It's two pounds. This is a, everybody has a luxury item. I'm calling this my luxury item. Because yeah, I said luxury item, luxury item, my butt. Um, one they don't even allow this in a lot of the parks anymore because the bears can bite right into them and just the amount of space that takes up it's not worth taking i don't think i thought it would be but i ne i didn't take it i'm glad i didn't take it i mean and it weighs two pounds so kids food's not going to get crushed um you don't have to worry about hanging it up. You put it away. I put the list of reflective on it. Like I guess right. I'm not even going to go over it, but I just yeah. didn't do it. Yeah, I put everything up. Let's skip over this. Calories food. In a way. So you I really can... talked that sucker up and probably made, talked people into getting it. Physical activity every single day, you're going to lose weight. But I don't... Lost a lot of weight. I have two long ones. And I put these two long ones in my bag. And I put that bear can. I put my sleeping bag at the bottom. So these here, these bags from Z Packs, love them, get them. I'm still using them. They pack everything. This is actually the tent sack. So this is a longer one. So it's the tent version and it's longer. And I just put everything in. Like I said, I was able to put those in and they just fit and it makes your bag super small. It was a big comment I had is like, hey, how's your bag so small? Because um, I could just fit everything in there. I had two of those. One, I did my. Um, sleeping bag and everything for sleep so that would come out at the end of the day and then the other one i had extra stuff that i didn't really need quickly so i put that in that other bag and i had another one where i put my stuff like gloves um puffy jacket extra socks tape stuff like that in a smaller one i think it is a medium actually but it was smaller and um it they're they're i can't talk up enough z packs does makes these pretty good so and let's see what we got here. I think this is about it. And that is it. That is my gear review. That's wow. it. So I think I got everything in there for the most part. Let me skim through here real quick, see if I didn't cover something. Now, anything I don't think I did in there was my sleeping bag, which I loved. That was a Z-Pax quilt. And then my sleeping mat. 
which in the other videos I did do. And um, all right, we'll get that off there. I loved, so um, there's, there it is. There's what I used, didn't use. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, remember, like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. I appreciate you stopping in. Till next time, stay easy. Peace.